Heavy rains that hit most parts of the countryside left thousands of kilometers of feeder roads broken, impassable, and an impediment to motorists moving goods and passengers. The National Roads Authority has today awarded contracts worth 50 billion shillings to 10 local firms who will only be paid 10% in advance. A move officials indicated was aimed at eliminating fraud in the multi trillion sector. And I urge you to work hard and look at the specifications carefully, look at the conditions of contract and look at the cost. We should avoid inferior works. We are going to be strict on compliance of the technical specifications within the contract. We shall look at the costs as stipulated in the bills of quantities. The engineers in the stations are going to ensure that you do this work within the cost <coughs> and within the time, the 36 months that you have been allowed to execute all these works. The road sector, through securing one among the highest allocations in the national budget, has had a history of poor workmanship and in some cases delayed works and in the other instances outright abandonment of paid projects causing massive loss of taxpayers' monies. This is like a replace the other traditional one-off projects where we have been engaging you to do, say, uh, 70 kilometers of periodic maintenance, but it's a one-off. You do that in nine months, we shake hands, you go away. We are now engaging you for three years, so we are going into more serious relationship. A cross-section of these local contractors who have been successful in the bids for the building and maintenance of gravel road networks, however, still complain over procurement processes they argue slows their business plans. Uh, of course, uh, procurement is quite a new area in this country and uh, fastening the process and going back to the local con to any contractor, not only the local contractor, but getting, t getting to engage with the contractor at any one point in time would be very important for you to be able to review any gaps and then make the next procurement a better process. In the new budget, government has allocated a staggering 2.3 trillion shillings towards the works and infrastructure component. A move, the finance minister says, will see over 845 kilometers of the country's road network improved.